In this video we're going to show you how you can use SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM 2010 to create and uh, process ECNs. Um, we're just going to use standard uh, Enterprise PDM template functionality to create a new ECN. And uh, unlike other uh, ECN videos that you've seen out there, this one's actually going to use an HTML format um, for the actual file that we're going to manage and process along this uh, workflow. Uh, this card can look however you want, so we can have uh, drop downs and toggles and things like that for inputs. And then what we're doing is processing this in the vault under the uh, process area. So there's a process folder, engineering change, and it's going to assign a new number, create a folder, and drop this new HTML file uh, into this folder. So it's going to fill out everything. There's an, a flow chart at the bottom that can be updated as the um, process moves along the path. And for this particular user to finish what they're doing, they can just go ahead and change state, which is going to submit this to the next person in the, um, in the ECO process. Um, we're going to pick on the fly who it's going to go to. And for FDA CFR 21 Part 11, we can actually require a um, secondary password to go in here. And that can be an option as well that you turn on or off per workflow. Um, it's going to uh, pending engineering approval, which is going to highlight on our flow chart. And we can even put things like the task required per um, workflow so that you can essentially have a reminder in there for the users and the tasks they want to complete and even put in things like checklists so people can check off that they've done certain tasks. So using the internal mail system for Enterprise PDM, it just brings up a little balloon. You're going to see a notification when you log into the system. Um, this could also come in Outlook as well or Lotus Notes so that you could actually uh, see it in your regular email. So you click on the link, it takes you right into the vault to the current file, so you can take a look at it. You can see who created it, all the comments, it's all pushed right into the active HTML file. Um, the HTML is nice because you don't actually uh, open it up in any editor. It just reads directly from the data card. So as we update this information, it writes the information right from the database for Enterprise PDM to the HTML code. So we're going to hit, um, we're going to go to the next person. Uh, Mark Carlson has approved it. You see it's dropped his actual signature on there, uh, at least a snapshot of the signature, and the date that he signed it. So this is going on to the next person. We're going to log in as P. Kozar. And then he's going to get a new notification there as well. And then we can go ahead and um, you know look at the email. We can look at the history to see when everything was submitted, who submitted it, who signed off when. And then again, we can go in and process the ECN just like this. If we wanted to make changes to anything on the card, we can go ahead and do that. It's just going to change whatever is displayed there on the HTML. So if we change the disposition or add comments or everything else, we can do that. Then you can see immediately um, the uh, final signature is put on there. It's now approved. And now based on this workflow, we actually have it set up so that it'll notify the person who originated it. And so um, F. Newman is going to get an email um, upon completion, letting him know that he can go in there and take a look at the, um, the completed ECN. And right from the um, email, you can select to just view it. It can go into the vault and look at it, or it can just view it. Either way, when the user reaches this location, we can force them to log in to make sure that they have the proper rights to view the files. And with that, that concludes a presentation of how we can use SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM to process our ECN workflows.